Ah, you are watching Kolsky Jones. Welcome back. Today we've got the JJRC Latitude RC Speedboat. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. Today we've got something totally different. So we've got the JJRC Latitude, which is a 2.4 gig high speed racing boat. So you're going to see coming up over the channel much more diversity in what we do. We're not going to do quads, we're going to do some boats. We're going to do some planes, we're going to do some cars, virtually anything that's RC. So the, the reason I want to do that is to get more people into this hobby. And if they don't want to get into hobby on quads, they might want to try boats. If they don't want boats, they might try planes and so on. So that's what we're going to be doing. So today we've got the Latitude. So this is what you get in the pack. You get the transmitter. Take the boat out of here. The boat, a brief instruction manual, and there's your spares and the boat stand. So, so put that down there. So this is the craft itself, and it really is nicely finished off. So, as you can see here, you've got your hatch where you open your hatch, and it, inside here is nothing. There's nothing. There's another hatch behind there. This is just another way. Of trying to prevent water getting in so you've got this cat this hatch here and this is the one that's doing all the work so this is stopping water getting into the boat let's just take that out of there so as you'll see in there you've got a 600 milliamp lithium ion battery you've got your servo for your rudder you've got your ESCs in there and your motors there now if you can see your motor is water cooled, so what happens is it will pull water in down at the back here, draw water into the boat, wrap it around the motor to keep it cool and blow it back out this side. Most boats are water cooled uh, these days because it's to try and stop that and then motors getting too warm. Now this is a brushed motor, but even that will get warm. That's your drive unit there, so it's quite a simple operation if you wanted to put a brushed, brushless motor in here, it would be quite easy to do. And as you can see, it's got a brass shaft out the back, and that is your drive pinion there. So, that's your drive unit. You get a spare one of these in the box. These are to keep it upright, and this is your rudder. And this is controlled by your remote. This is wheel controlled. It's got, it has got backwards, but it will literally come back at like crawling speed. And it also has flips. So if it flips upside down in the water, and when we go through that bit, I'll try and show you. You simply forward, back, or forward, backward, and it'll flick back the right way up again. So later on in the video, we are going to go and see it in the water, driving, I suppose you call it, sailing, whatever, in the water, and I'll show you what it's like. So you've got, on the back of here, you've got your, your trim controls and your steering controls. So you've got throttle trim, your throttle, and you've got steering trim. There's your on and off switch. And it has 48, it runs on 48A batteries. It really is nicely finished off this boat. It really is. I've got another boat coming up shortly. And you see, I'm going to probably have more than that coming up. There's also, on here, a silicon front that goes on to it. It's actually stuck in the back. But you see that, see that silicon front? That clips on the front of the boat. So if you want to sail it anywhere where it's a bit rocky or anything it'll stop the boat getting cracked and all messed up at the front so as I said this runs on a 6,000 milliamp you get about 8 minutes of time on it now these don't, this won't power up so if you get one of these and you do get one of these and you put batteries in it you put the batteries in that and you bind it and you press the trigger and nothing happens that's what's meant to happen until this until this little brass contact touches water it will not power the ESC up on the boat when you put the battery in and you're all ready to go and you drop it in the water then the ESC will arm it won't arm until that point and I think it's a great safety feature because this would cut you severely because this is very sharp on the edges it spins quick and if you did catch out on your fingers it would make a right mess of them so that's how it works so it's enough of me talking let's go sail it and then I'll come back after we've had a quick sail with it and I'll tell you what I think
Okay, so we've now seen it in the water. And as you can see, at the end of the video, I did open the top up to show you that there was no water inside. The only water just came dripping off the hull. But there was no actual water inside the boat, a very slight bit of condensation in the centre. I hope you saw from it how well it sails, drives, whatever you call it when you do a boat. How, how nice it is. Very, very nice to control. I had to trim it out a little bit, which is why I stopped halfway through the video. You'll see me stop it. Um, once I've trimmed it, it was absolutely fantastic. It's got a light little bit, it's not too fast. The place where uh, I, I was sailing in a fantastic little area and it was perfect size for that. I highly recommend this. You can pick it up, for, it, it varies in price between about 24 and 35 quid. It's well worth it if you can get one. Bang good sell it, but you can also buy it on Amazon. I think on Amazon it's 40. But if you buy it from Amazon, of course, you're going to get it much quicker. You're going to get it next day delivery if you've got a prime. And of course, the main thing with Amazon, you can send it back if you get a problem. So... Thanks very much for watching the first boat video. I've got another one coming up shortly. I'm a bit addicted now. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.